Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to be learning how we can use QR codes to help organize our shoots in Darkroom Core Edition. But before we get started, I'm going to ask that you comment below with a video that you would like to see. And we're going to do a contest, a comment contest, and I will choose uh, videos to make, but I will also choose the best comment, I think, and I will send you out this shirt that I am, not the one that I'm currently wearing, but the, uh, a shirt in your size. So if you can comment below on what you would like to see, I'd love your feedback. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my computer right here and let's open up Darkroom. Uh, it's professional, but it'll be the same in Core Edition. I also have a few folders that we're gonna be working from. So let me move those over so you can see them. So what this is using is a QR code that is captured in an image. We'll go ahead and open up this folder right here so you can see kind of what we're talking about. So you can see I had uh, a shoot and I captured a QR code beforehand uh, before each subject. And in that QR code, it has their email address. I have another version where it has a sequence, but we'll kind of get into a little bit more in depth in just a moment. But I just want you to see that the subject is captured. We want to make sure the QR code is in focus. So I'm going to create a brand new event or a brand new catalog. and click finish and right here under uh, the add photo icon we have this drop down menu and we have quick import setup I just want you to see the import um, options that I have set very specifically we're going from this folder right here and we're scanning for QR codes and I'm going to create a sub event for based on the QR code so we'll go ahead and click on this button so we can see how we get those codes. So the one I'm currently using, I'll go through a few of the others, uh, but the one I'm currently using is um, email. So you would have this either printed out or displayed. Then the subject would come with their phone before the shoot, open up their camera app, scan it and then it'll ask for their email address and they'll go ahead and auto fill based on the email address in the phone so it's pretty easy for them and when they click continue it will create a QR code with their email address and each subject would do this right before uh, they're photographed and then they would hold it up in front of the camera on the first shot and then put it away so that's using email. We'll go ahead and pretend that we just uh, captured a few different subjects. Click OK. And I'm gonna use the shortcut key. If you click right here, quick import is I. So I'm gonna click I, and it's gonna ask if I wanna go ahead and import those images. And you'll see that it does a little bit of magic. It's scanning each one of those images. That's why it's taking just a little bit longer And then once it finishes importing and scanning, it will create a sub catalog for each QR code that it sees, each unique QR code. Okay, we'll go ahead and toggle that open. And we can see that Batman entered his email address and Captain America used my email address. And then there's Spider-Man right there. So each one of those is embedded in that QR code and that's where it's getting that information. What's really helpful about this is it's alphanumeric whenever you look through this catalog so it's easy to find at a sales station. But what's even cooler is I have a package set up for email um, and it's email from QR code. Let's look at that. 
rather than prompting for the email address, I have it set to look at the catalog name. So whenever I click on Captain America and we select his photo, let's go ahead and put him into a template so he looks a little bit cooler. That's pretty cool. Okay, and then all I have to do is click on email from QR code, place order, and it's actually gonna send it to the code based on the catalog name. So that's one way to do it. That's probably my favorite so far that I've uh, been able to set up and see. Another option that we have is, let's look at these quick import options. And we're creating a new catalog for each but we can also use the commands. So if we go back to our QR code uh, helper, we can um, create a sub event. And I have an example. Let me show you that. Oh. And I, I see that I just received an email. Whoops. There's my image. It was that easy. I didn't actually have to enter, do a real data entry. The customer is doing it for me. So I just wanted to show you how easy that works. So um, the creating a new sub event for uh, based on the QR code, or we can use commands, and that's where that other option right here comes in. You can assign the QR code to an image comment. So let's look at these two other setups that I have. Here's one that has the email address added to the comment. So instead of the email looking for the catalog name, I would just uh, use the option for the comment. Here on the comment one, you'll see that it's not sub cataloged. Um, everything's just in one catalog, but the uh, you can use F2 to then look for Peter in the XF comment information and there it finds or let's try that with one that's not selected we'll go with uh, Bruce so you can see it found the Dark Knight so um, the commands this one you would just hold up the same QR code in between each session and it would create a new subcatalog just based on that one same QR code. It's not actually assigning data, but you can see it sees that uh, this code is the exact same one as this one, and then it separates each one because it sees that code. This is mainly for people doing kind of volume photography and maybe even uh, uh, like multiple stations say like a Santa shoot so you can have a capture station and then a cell station where you can retrieve it and then you're just going through the list and looking for their email address something that everybody is going to remember they don't actually have to hold on to any actual piece of paper or information for retrieval so that is the brand new QR code option in the quick import options I hope this has been helpful I hope that you add a comment below um, and we'll create some brand new videos based on those comments and somebody will receive a shirt just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video I'll let you know here's some other videos you might like but most importantly thanks for being a customer I'll see you next time